Frederick. I called at the inn, but Louise has gone back home to Upper Cross, I find. A week ago at least. Benick took her. She's quite recovered. And how is your brother? He thinks I'm as big a fool as I do. You have no idea, Harry, how I, how I curse the folly of my own pride. Had I only the good sense to seize my happiness when I had the chance again, and none of this would have happened. I'm not sure I thought. I imagined myself indifferent to her when I was only angry and resentful. Too late. Too late I began to understand myself and her. Never, never have I met her equal in good sense or sweetness of character. She's, she's perfection itself. I've never loved any of her. You're talking now of Anne Elliot. Of course, who else? And I take it you have not received Benick's letter. I shall have to go to Upper Cross now. It cannot in all decency be avoided. I mention this letter only because it contains the news that he has proposed to Louisa Musgrove. She has accepted him. They are to be married directly. Married? Louisa and Benick? Directly. No. I'm free. As it happens, I'm going to bath tomorrow. Perhaps now you care to join me. <laughs> and whom should I chance to meet at the pump rooms again yesterday but Mr. Elliot? Without being indiscreet, I can reveal that you were very much talked of. He thinks you a most extraordinary young woman. In your temper, manners, mind, a model of female excellence. Now, I am no matchmaker, as you well know, but a most suitable connection. Everybody must certainly consider it. And I do think there will be every possibility of your and Mr. Elliot being very happy together. And I must confess, to look forward and think of you occupying your dear mother's place as the future mistress of Callage, the future Lady Elliot. Oh, my dearest Anne, it would give me more delight oh, than is often felt at my time of life. Lady Russell. Will you join us? I cannot deny the idea of being restored to Kellidge, of calling it home again, my home forever, has a charm I cannot immediately resist. And Mr. Elliot is an exceedingly agreeable man and in many respects, I think, very highly of him. Admiral and Mrs. 